So now to build them. So first I'm going to go to my wall. Okay, so here we are. So the first redstone machine that I'm going to be showing you is called the piston door. So I'm going to go find it. It's not loading property. Okay, so here it is. So what you do is you just walk through it and the pistons open like that. That's why I call it the piston door because you just walk through it and the pistons open. Like this. And like this. Like all this. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to build it. So first what you need is sticky pistons, redstone torch, a block of your, uh, a block of your choice, and redstone dust, and a pressure plate. Okay. So after you got your items, you want to dig a two block deep, one by two rectangle like so. And then you dig two blocks on the side like so. And then you just fill it in with redstone. And then after you do that, you want to crush these two blocks on each side. Then fill that with in with redstone. And then you want to make kind of like stairs on each side and fill that in with redstone. Then what you want to do is put your sticky piston over the redstone like that. And then what you want to do is fill in this middle the block of your choice. Then make a wall like this and then wait, leave that like that. And then dig dig two blocks deep like that like in, in front of the wall and then you fill it in with the block of your choice and then you do do the same on the other side and after you do that you might want to stand on your wall put another piston over that then put a redstone torch on each side then put the block of your choice over on the redstone torch on each side. And then what you want to do is throw the rest of the wall in like that. And then you want to outline the whole machine so nobody can see the redstone. I do it a certain way. You don't have to do it this way, but I think it looks better this way that I'm doing it right now. You can just copy me if you want, though. And then, you want to do it two blocks high so it can cover, cover the other set of pistons. So, for that end. And then, you can see the pistons on the top, so you want to make a, a line across the top so it can cover that, too. I make it one block after the pistons because I think it looks better that way too. So what you want to do is um, put something like that on each side. Wait a minute, I think this is the one with one. Okay. Oops. Sorry, this is a lot of these here. I can't find the white one that we're working on. This is it. Well, yeah, then you build a sunroof on the other side, and then you should just be able to walk through it like that. Oh, here's the one. This the one that we made. Oh, wait. No, you want to put pressure plates, too, on each side. Forgot to do that. Okay. Then, you have the machine. So, the second machine that I'm going to show you is called the mob spawner door. 
Well, I need to sleep first before I show it. Okay, now it's morning time. So, the mob spawner door is over here, I believe. Oh, yeah, right here. So, what it does is you, you would think, well, first off, you can see the dispenser through that. But if there was a door, a, well, I lost this door. I crushed it on accident, and I couldn't find it again. And in the my inventory, um, it it didn't have any holes in it, so you couldn't see the dispenser. So what you, if it was covering the dispenser, you would think this button would open the door, so you can walk through. But actually, what it does is let out a mob and open the door. So now I'm showing you how to build it. So what you need is a block of your choice, redstone repeat, redstone repeater, and then and then you need a dispenser, what I already have, and then a mob of your choice. Okay. I use goss because there is other bad mobs that you can do, but they won't aim right for you. Like, I have one that has a laugh, and it goes the other way instead of aiming for you. So, I just... Ah. Man. Whoops. I'll just put one in there. It doesn't really matter. So, then after you do that... You after you get all your materials, materials you want to build a two by three rectangle, and then a two block tall, a two block tall on the left side, a two block tall tower at on the left side of the rectangle. Oops. And then what you want to do is fill that in like that too, and then. You want to put a dispenser facing towards you, and f uh, at that spot that I put it, and then now we're doing the redstone stuff. So what you want to do is put redstone like that, like so, and then you put a repeater in between there. And then you put another redstone aiming for the dispenser. Make sure it's aiming for the dispenser. And then you put a door in front of it. Then you want to put a button on the side of that door. That's the part that they think it would just open the door and not let out a mob. So after you do that, you push the button. Now it comes a ga gas. So the third machine that I'm going to show you is called the the door of levers. So here it is over here. So what what there is is there's a certain level that you have to push and it lets the door go up and so you can go through it. And now I'm showing you how to reset it. Which it's really easy to reset. You just need to make stairs so it comes down here. And what I did is, under the level, I put redstone, so it comes through here, goes through this piston. Oh, wait, I forgot something. When you go through, when it opens, you have to push this level again, and it doesn't close. Whoops. It doesn't close, you can just still walk through it, and that's part of resetting it. When you get down here, man, <sighs> turn it on again. So, okay, there we go. Now it's off, and then what you want to do is put a a, pist a level over it. And you, then what I did is when you push that level up there, you just need to put a level. When I when I push that level over there of up there, it just comes here. This or this piston makes sure it's not sticky pistons. It crush is that it crush it crush the sticky piston that I mean the level and which turns it off so this would go down and the block would go down and you can, you can get through 
just turn that on, and then put a block over it. <sighs> okay. So after you do that, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to build it now. So I always showed you how I did that redstone thing. Why I um we set it, but you don't need this. Put so, yeah, you don't need that. Okay. So what you want to do is build like a fortress like that. So and then put. You should put a one block like that. But I just did two. Because I made a other side, but I want it work for um, these trap levers. So what the trap levers do, I should have showed you it earlier. Oops. You just fall through into the lava. Well, there isn't lava on this side. Because, see up there is pistons on, for the other side. I have this horse down here because he fell down here and it was um, um, dying in the walls. So I just made a, a little bigger home down here. Why I put that bed is down there? Because if your friends are trying to get in your fortress or base, whatever you call it, um, if they die in the lava, they would spawn back where that bed is. Because if you don't know, when you sleep in a bed and you don't crush it, the spawn point becomes where the bed is. So like I showed you, it does that. What you want to do is put carpet over it so it doesn't, so um, people can't see the, people can't see the pistons. Yeah. So after you do that, you just cover it up. And then this other trap one is like that. Oh, whoops, one sign. Uh, I just kind of showed you it. I didn't mean to, but um, I accidentally made it so the pistons open right here. And there's another thing they did one. Well, not one. It's just I couldn't do. Um, it's that I couldn't make all these pistons. Uh, this whole line of carpet with all the pistons going and please comment uh, me uh, to how to do that and and I can just do that what you suggested and if it works I'll be happy so um like that you just cover up with the redstone and I already showed you that you need to make your thing right here so after you do that you want to you want to make a line of levers and then pick which one you want to choose to be the one that opens the door. And there's another thing that I want you to come about. You know how how you just saw me jump over here? I want you to... The, um, can you please comment how to make this so two, two um, blocks go up? instead of one so it's like a wall instead of just one block that you can jump over and see so after you do that I always or you might not remember what I did down here is under the level that you picked you put redstone and lead it to this piston then put a level right here turn the level on put another piston and then put a block over it and then when you push that lever, it activates this piston, which destroys the lever and makes that piston go down so you can get through. So then you have your door that you can get through without the traps. And now here's the traps. So what I did right here, you should always keep it on or else it won't work. So what I did is this redstone goes down here, goes through here, and... You have pistons right here, which if you turn it off, which they would think you actually turn it on, those pistons would go in and you would fall through the holes. And then you can, after you see your front fall, you can just cover it up like that. And then you will have it again. 
what I did is I put um, slabs like this covering it so um, so they can't see the redstone and what I accidentally did like I always showed you I push this level and the holes come on this side it's kind of cool because because if if you're trying to get it from the other side if you already fell with that one you could try to and you fall again and then after you see if you fall you just cover up with copy again what I didn't always show you is you want to make a rectangle along of a rectangle of copper along this these levers okay so now I'm going to be showing you show you how this lever how this lever made the trap it's the same idea as on the other side but a little different because the pistons go out on the uh, this and this instead of that and that like on the other side those box you get the same idea it, it's like the same idea you put what's known over here then it goes to these pistons which you should always keep it on yeah oh and whoops Um, and you want to cover this uh, this up with a slab, like a rectangle like that, a two by three. You cover it up like that, like that, and then and then so they can't see the pistons and redstone under there. Let me sleep in my bed again. Where's my bed? Uh, I'll just go in this bed down here. Okay, so here's the bed. You might have not seen it earlier. Like I said, I already had to make a little house for this horse down here because he was going to die in the walls. That's why this horse. Okay, so, and you want to, yeah, I always showed you the slabs over here. So, um, now that's it for the video, and please like or comment, I mean subscribe, that would make me feel really good that I did this video. Bye guys.